There's a new character making her home on Sesame Street, and she just happens to have autism. Julia is playing with Elmo in Sesame Street's new online storybook. Elmo explains to Abby that Julia has autism, and she does things a little differently. Sesame Street says the story is part of a new campaign to see the amazing in all children. So the whole point of the campaign is to destigmatize autism, kind of start those discussions at a very young age, because, Rachel, it's aimed at kids as young as two years old. Right, and I think it's great that they're introducing this character. What will be interesting is because there is such a broad umbrella of autism, how do you uh, introduce each character on having maybe a different um, severity of it, or sure. um, how do you, the kid who missed that first one, reintroduce that character again? Interesting, yeah. right? Yeah. I think this idea, I, I look at my kids in the world they're growing up in, and it's so much better than the way I grew up as a child. Like, they are being taught that all kids, no matter what differences they have, have value. And Sesame Street is a key part of that. I mean, kids watch that at a very young age. Sesame Street is an amazing program when you consider all of the little uh, shows, all the little uh, vignettes or skits mm -hmm. that you see. It's all research-based. And so you think kids are growing up. My kids have one girl. Uh, my son has a girl in his class who is uh, hard of hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, my other son has a kid in a class who's in a wheelchair. And this is just normal part of life, whereas when I was a kid, we didn't have exposure to that. And I think it's spectacular. And Sesame Street uh, plays a key role in this. And so having books that have a character with autism that's just another kid, not like here's the autism book that you're going to read. Right. That's what's really great. nice to see. Well, and so many young kids who have autism are, they find themselves bullied. So starting off this young and saying, okay, not only are we looking at the differences here, we're finding the amazing differences because that's what they're focusing on. You watch, they're also doing a couple of videos online where this, this character will introduce you to real kids who do have autism. Mm -hmm. And it's really interesting to see because they, when I was watching it, pointed out a couple of ways that I could look at things differently. Right, gotta love that Elmo for finding the positive right. in oh, everyone. Yeah. Right? Well, the truth is it's confusing for kids who uh, do not have exposure to this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, this weekend I'm doing an event for Frasier, which is a great nonprofit, great organization in the Twin Cities that has schools and helps uh, young kids uh, try, to, try to have some education, try to have uh, good housing, all of that kind of stuff. But you know, uh, when you first encounter a child with autism, depending on where they are in that world, you know, it can be confusing. Why won't this, uh, why won't this kid make eye contact with me? Why right. does this kid yes. seem so easily distracted? Why does this kid seem to be just so brilliant, uh, but then so socially awkward? And to understand like, hey, it's not because this kid is a jerk or a mm -hmm. weirdo, mm -hmm. it's because something is going on there and you can celebrate the good like, wow, I mean, how, how powerful is that for young people? I just think it's, it's incredible. I think it's good. I wish I had exposure to that younger and didn't have to learn about it as life went on, you know. Absolutely. Kids are lucky now. They are. They are. It is a beautiful day outside, Kyla.